Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. Pussy down, then I turned him to a clown. Put that pussy down, then he I gave him a fry. I put that pussy down. He wanna take me to Pow Town. Then I took him down. And then I put him in my mother a clown suit. He told me get the suit off. He want a birthday suit like cuzzle. He wanna he wanna get freaky like whoa whoa. I told him been that ass over. I been it. I been that ass over. Then I put that pussy down. I put that pussy down. Then it turned into a frown. And then I turned into a split. And I took up that dick. I put that pussy down. He said, whoa girl, you down. I took that pussy down. He said, whoa girl, you clown. I put that pussy down. He said, twist it around. I put that pussy down. Then we go pow pow. I put that pussy down. Then I go down, down. Put that pussy down. Then we go ow, ow. I put that pussy down and I go bow, bow, ow. I put that pussy down. Okay? That's the true mix. Child, you know it's bad when the producer got to jump in. That girl, we ain't never seen the breakup fight in her life. I think what side did was very weak, in my opinion. Because you didn't even give her the chance to square up or level up and you don't even know if she even said you on her hit list and what's up with this motherfucking hit list are y'all acting as if this is the mob wives remember my mob wives she's a rat whore she's on my hit list she's a rat this ain't mob wives bitch the fuck is a hit list girl bye sigh okay the only thing sigh is your sci-fi forehead we have yet to see Legacy in the scene since the first episode, besides just getting fight, just getting beat up or beating or hitting somebody or sneaking somebody. That damn Legacy had a rough journey on that show. I mean, god damn. Since she was sitting down and before uh, Sully, aka uh, NLE Chopper, said, uh, your bitches are boring, your bitches are boring. That's the last time we really see Legacy talk in a scene. That's that. She ain't with that no shade. Meet you in the mall. It's going down. Baby, da, 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 da. It's going down. Okay, she ate. She ate that. She did. Now I'd be more excited getting fresh, fresh white Air Forces than getting a sneaker doodle one. Because those are hard to come by. They're either always out of my size or there's out of stock. <laughs> Literally. Whoever was uh, uh, working there say, I got to get out. <laughs> Here, I ordered with my sister. She can do customs. DM me. DM me. Because I have some white forces that... You know when you don't wear your air air, air white forces and they get yellow at the bottom? I have those. So I need designs on them or something. So please DM me so that way I can customize them. Yeah, then people at the establishment say, get the fuck out! <laughs> you guys are horrible. Damn, bitch, you gonna fight four bitches? You about 100 pounds. But it's okay for Ivory to fight seven bitches, and she's about 200 pounds. How do you make that any sense? My whole thing is, they act like Legacy is like the Crypt Keeper. Like, she's like to be kept away. Legacy, to me, did what she was supposed to do in the beginning. You called her boring, she made it interesting. Without Legacy, we wouldn't even have the first half of the season. Sorry. Too bad. So sad. I hate how they're trying to make Shay like the enemy. All she did was pass the information along. I mean, goddamn. I don't know. I just feel like with some of the girls that be picking and choosing with certain stuff. I do think, though, that Shay sometimes uh, is a little bit messy from the online stuff that I've seen. But I don't think she's completely to blame for the whole thing. The thing about Cass, she loved them hair wraps. But this time, she don't look like uh, the, uh, the peanut off of Proud Family. Now, um, <laughs> her and Crystal are talking about uh, the fact that Crystal ended up uh, popping her because of the game. I really feel like their, deep wasn't that, their beef wasn't that deep. And I just feel like Crystal uh, was trying to probably be her friend. And Cass was kind of standoffish. And she didn't like that. That's what I think. That was the most awkward, we're cool ever. Not even a handshake. 
adapt, no nothing. Just sort of like a get up and walk away. That was awkward. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Ferrari still makes, she makes the drama sound much more dramatic than what it is. She like, like, like you know, like Melanie came in, she came with a chainsaw and like she tried to fucking kill Ferragamo with the chainsaw and it's just crazy. And then you got like Shay Benz, she fucking got all their social security numbers and she's just been giving it out to everybody. She just gave it out to Legacy, Melanie, and she gave it out to Dodge. All they social security numbers just giving it out to each other. Like, it's just wild. Like, it's so much going on. They get real reckless. I'm like, okay, girl. <laughs> like, relax. It's not that much drama. <laughs> right. Who the hell is Liberty? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> We're not introducing new cast members towards the end of the season. Who the fuck is Liberty? Is that the bitch Bela was fighting in the middle of the street? I seen uh, one of the mean girls fighting uh, a Statue of Liberty. And I heard she went to jail for that. Liberty. Those type of shows are wild. Imagine brushing your teeth. And somebody says, when you're done brushing your teeth, I need my fay. <laughs> bitch, I should... <laughs> Legacy should have got some mouthwash and threw it in Naja's face. Turn that bitch into peppermint. Because that's wild. In production, y'all really not caring about instigating in their faces. Because it's the fact that they be throwing y'all under the bus like this. Y'all need to create something to where they can't say production out loud. Because it like ruins the value of the shot that shade. Like, they shouldn't be talking about setups and stuff. That's my opinion. I believe it was the last episode. I said that Ivory looks like a tea girl. And some of my comments, they got so mad. They said they were going to unsubscribe from me. Is that offensive to my females in the chat? Was that offensive? Because somebody in the comments just said it. And it's not because any of her physical features or anything. I just said it was because of her wig. Not her physical features, her wig. It made her not look like herself. It had nothing to do with face. Not, it's her wig. The wig made her look like a completely different person. But hey, I offended people, so I ain't going to say that. But somebody in the comments just said the same thing I said last week. And y'all was... They said, oh my God. They put the minute mark I said it, too. They're like, I'm unsubscribing after that one. I'm like, after all the fucked up things I've said on this channel, that one thing about, say, that her wig makes her look like a T-girl is the most offensive thing ever. Wow. Okay. And you guys, body shame, roly call, you know, call tops of whales and shamus and, and, and call E.T. E.V.T. But that is just out of line. Okay. Shay explains in gibberish. Shay explains in cursive. Shay bans explains in sign language. Shout out to Perfect KP looking cute. And Ivory always has to find a uh, always has to have the littlest reason to fight somebody. Like, what of that makes you want to fight her? She clearly is looking scared as fuck. And look at like she thinks she's gonna about to get jumped in that room. Why would you want to hit her after that? I'll just I just don't get it. You know, I feel like Shay told Sai not to like get in the fight, but just sort of like, bitch, uh, watch your back. It was kind of a vibe like that. So I don't get why the girls are going in too too hard on her. No, do I think she should have said anything? I wouldn't have said shit. Because you bitches are funny anyway. So I'm not going to try to help out any of you bitches. That's what Shay should have been thinking. But she seems like the friendly kind. So not surprising. Like, that's her friend, you know, and 
the bitch is just, just smiling at my face, like, bitch, like, you are an insider, bitch. Like, that's like an insider. You guys, please don't start in my comments. Somebody say young and handsome. Stop it. I thought you guys were talking about me. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> please, though. Because they, you know how the YouTube girls do. Please. Because they're going to be like, oh, my God. Uh-uh. Okay? Ivory is beautiful and young. Okay? Little ass. I'm sorry. She looks really good in the blonde, by the way. Shay looks amazing in the blonde. She gives me t uh, Tiana vibes for BGC 11. Those type of vibes. In Ferrari, pillow talking is a strong statement. That's what you're doing. You put that, put that, put that pussy down. What they're doing is just gossiping. It's a house called Young and Reckless, for God's sakes. They act as if she did the impossible. Wouldn't this be something that a young and reckless girl does is be messy? Why is that all of a sudden not allowed? I thought lames weren't allowed. Messy bitches ain't allowed to? Wow. Why Pipe down. You should be lucky they're getting messy. Because it makes your show interesting. Naj and Ivory, the South Central Power Rangers. Now, here's the thing. Shay, you let another grown woman basically give you an ultimatum. If you don't do this, I'm going to do this to you. You'd be better off saying, oh, I'm not going to do it. So now what? And then Naj would have hit you. But you would have got all the fans' respect, and Naj would look like a bully ass bitch. So, wrong choice. <laughs> When a bitch got you fucked up. Wow. Sav is a snake. <laughs> not us. Listen, Sav did not want to get touched that whole series and she accomplished it. Except for the reunion, which I heard she fought. That is funny. Now, I don't get what she has to do with this because all she, she heard it, but she wasn't having a conversation. So, Shay was trying to get... Her a tag team buddy just in case they tag her. Before I thought she thought they were gonna end the scene when she walked out the room. They still continuing like nobody left. You yeah, thought you did you a big one. Them questioning Sav after she slept is crazy. And her sleep with a face full of makeup is even crazier. Okay, it's a lot of crazy things. Hi, Crystal. Shout out to Queen D for speaking the truth. Okay. Has Shay stood up to them, even if she got jumped, pummeled. The whole not that Steve will be back in her up right now. Because the conversation to me is very dumb. All she did was gossip. And they act like she took shrooms and fought security. <laughs> that damn Sam got a mouth on her. She said that bitch is giving a joker and a deck of cards. Thank God you showed up to the reunion. Because god damn. You sure can run your mouth. How they playing a game of clues? If Legacy didn't say it, maybe Shay came up with it out the crack of her ass. Ooh. Like, y'all doing too much. Like, it... This is way... They taking this way too serious. It, they really are. Why wouldn't she want to hit Sai? Sai basically tried to punk her and say, take off your glasses. It's not a shock that she says that she would want to fight you at one point in time. I just don't get it. That cameraman, fine. Oh my god, let me shut up. <laughs> okay, uh, her crying and everything. That that's that group chat energy. Okay, what Gigi Ma said. This some group project shit, bitch. Fuck a group project shit. This is some fucking WhatsApp group chat shit. That ass. Okay. Uh, I'm just glad it didn't look. Like, it doesn't look like she she's gonna hit her. Because you can tell she's very sad about <gasps> about the situation. I really don't think she meant no harm by it. I think she was just giving a bitch a heads up. That's how you know a bitch don't fuck with you. They call you associate. Bitch, ain't nothing an associate but a degree. Like, that is crazy. You're my associate. <laughs> a keyword, I don't fuck with you like that. I'm surprised this challenge doesn't have the word reckless in it. Like, they didn't call this challenge. This challenge 
is called Reckless Bags. Y'all gonna have to fight over a reckless bag. <laughs> they were creative enough not to use the word reckless in it. Someone said this is the uppity version of Zodiac House. No. This is the black version of the challenge. It's called the battle. Give me that shit. I was, you know. I'm just glad we got to see Crystal winning something. Okay? That makes my heart happy. That's shade. Shout out to Crystal. I'm just chilling. Like, I'm out there out there like, I'm just chilling. Like, you feel me? Like, I ain't taking on shit, but the only thing I get turned on is my titties. Because other than that, I just be chilling. Like, the butt like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, at a game like this, I'll be playing dirty. I would have kicked the fuck out of Nasha's face. <laughs> I'm very competitive. I, I don't know if y'all realize that about me. Y'all probably did. But I'm very competitive. Like... I gotta be numero uno. We did. It's, thank you. See, I know y'all know I'm competitive. So it's like, I would have kicked the bitch. Okay? Since you want to knock people out randomly, bitch, I pop, 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 pop. So I get that bag. Okay? I'm surprised none of the girls just started uh, fist fighting in the middle of the grass. I know it's bad sport sportsmanship, but yeah. It's not as TV, so it's bad everything. You know what's so funny? Uh, Gigi that was in my uh, she's probably gonna get mad I'm talking about this but <laughs> Gigi that's on my uh, vlog, she manages like artists and stuff too and one of her artists I guess was dating uh, Ferragamo and she knows Ferragamo so she hit me up uh, when they was just like you know Ferragamo? And I'm like, I don't know her personally, but I know a show that she on. And she was like, oh my God, I just saw that she on Not That TV. <laughs> she was like, she's on this show. I'm like, why? And then we talk. This world is too small, I swear. Child. Shea Bands, you should have ran up on four already. She being slick at the mouth. And why does the front of your uh, underwear look meaty, Ferrari? Is there something you need to tell us? Did you really put that pussy down? Or did you put something else down? Because it's giving a meaty talk. Oh my God. Nosh. You asked not as TV for money now? The now and not as TV does not stand for the payment. That stands for the entertainment. You get that after. Or not at all. Sorry to break it to you. Wait, was that the finale? This was the finale for real, for real? Damn. I feel like we were just in the middle way. Next episode is the finale. Okay. So this isn't the finale. If it is, I'm going to be mad because I ain't giving no final thoughts on nothing. Well, we could do it at the reunion. I'll wait it out, because I it gives a little finale, but then again, it doesn't, okay? Um, this gives me, uh, especially the club scene, very much like BGC, like heavy, okay? Uh, tomorrow, for sure, we're doing Mean Girls. Last week, uh, I didn't do Mean Girls because, you know, I was like, the first episode was trash. I skimmed through the second episode. It wasn't too bad. We're going to do it, for sure, okay? I told you I was going to give it a chance. And we're also going to do the mini series thing. So, tomorrow I'm going to announce it. We're going to go on Twitch, okay? All right, night, y'all. Ain't no personal thing. All that